Hey, so, uh, we had, uh, not too long ago, today or yesterday, we had the Georgia Guidestones, um, part of it was apparently blown up, an explosion, and from what I know now, um, for safety precautions, I know because, you know, thousands of people visit it a year, they've leveled it now, um, for safety reasons. Now, those of us who know about the whole conspiracy theories and, you know, ever since 2013, we've been hearing about globalism. We've been hearing, you know, there's so many different things, um, QAnon and all of that. And I don't know too much about QAnon. I, all I know is there's like, there's this, uh, informant called Q and, and anyways, <clears throat> but I know um, quite a bit about the Georgia Guidestones. You know, for example, I know that they were, um, in 1980, they were erected and it was only credited by um, R.C. Christian. And apparently there is somebody who knows, um, you know, someone who worked in a rock quarry and actually helped create this and they know who it is, but um, the person who was interviewed refused to say, you know, they were sworn to secrecy. But... It was apparently used for um, a calendar, a compass, and a clock in case of catastrophic events. And that's what they said, right? But then we had all of those, um, all of those things that were in different languages, right? The whole uh, maintain a humanity under 500 million, which, by the way, right now, um, you know, only one fourteenth of humanity would be saved. Uh, that would mean most of us would have to die if, if that were, you know. And then there was um, guide population, right? Eugenics, all of that. And uh, another one was unite humanity under a new living language. I mean, that that sounds fishy enough. And a lot of us thought it was globalism, right? But I was, what, I was reading this uh, article on NPR... And they're talking about the headline was something like um, the Georgia Guidestones seen as satanic were uh, damaged by a pre-dawn explosion or something. And of course, we get uh, <laughs> Christians or far right conspiracy nuts um, are to blame. That's what that's what NPR is suggesting. Now, there's even this. Um, there was even this person that they were talking about. Uh, her name was Katie McCarthy, and she works for, of course, the ADL, the Anti-Defamation League. And ADL is just another one of these, you know, SPLC, the Southern Poverty, Poverty Law Center, and the ACLU. These, these groups that are funded by, um, whether it's globalists or people in power, they're lobbyists, you know. They, they lobby for leftist causes. They bail out l people who are leftists. Now, I think it's interesting, um, you know, this Katie McCarthy in this article, she said that uh, the the Guidestones were a target of far-right conspiracists. But I find it interesting that she has a problem with this, this these Guidestones that are mysterious, mysterious. We don't know any much about them besides of their existence, but... It literally was the ADL who was talking about um, other statues, like uh, the, um, <clears throat> you know, what's it called? The uh, the Confederate statues. They are talking about how those were evil and all of that stuff. And it's like, okay, so one, one thing, and first of all, as a Christian, I don't believe in statues, especially not, um, especially not Confederate statues, but... She said in this article, she said, if you don't like it, you don't have to see it. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to destroy it. But as long as they're okay with you destroying it, then, then it's fine. You know, she could have said that about the other statues. And now they're destroying statues of all the founding fathers. Even um, Frederick Douglass was a target. I mean, it's ridiculous, right? And we're seeing this, um, or not only that, in that, in the article... The ADL, the ADL, by the way, was in this last year. Um, this is one of those groups who are commenting on like the Freedom Convoy, 
and January 6th and using terms like disinformation and, oh, these people were, um, these were against the, uh, the jab and it was commonly beca because of disinformation. So we know that this is just another organization who is media friendly, leftist friendly, Hollywood friendly, all of this, just like the globalists. And I'm not, I'm not a uh, conspiracy nut, you know, I just look at this stuff around me and I try to be objective. I try to be intellectual and yes, I'm a conservative, I'm biased, but there's so much hypocrisy in the left. It's ridiculous. And they're the ones saying that, you know, conservatives are hypocrites. But anyways, we're seeing, we're seeing all these events now targeting Christians, making them villains. I mean, in this world, violence is no longer viable. It's a no longer good plan, which is good because violence should not be needed. We should not be using violence. As a believer in Christ, I, you know, I believe um, he who he who lives by the sword dies by the sword. You you should not be harming another human being. We should not be sinning against each other. But instead, nowadays, they're painting groups as evil and making them the public enemy. That's a, that's even a better strategy. So if somebody attacks you, somebody gets angry and they even start, um, yelling at you or they start saying anything, you can say, Oh, I'm a victim. They're they're you know, and they, and the problem is no one should be, no one should be attacking anybody or anything like this, but they are making up these things. They are claiming, Oh, we are victims because of this. And you know, all of these, <laughs> I mean, look at it with movies. When it comes to movies, they're saying they're review bombing them. And this is, this is all because of, um, this is all because of racism and all of that, you know, but Jesus said that this would happen. Jesus said that, <clears throat> Jesus said that the world would hate us. And he said, you know, a servant is no, not greater than his master. They hated him before. Um, and so, they're going to eventually hate us and they're going to, they're going to make a campaign for this. I mean, <clears throat> and the left hates when, when Christians talk about persecution, you know, because they use victimization to garner hate towards us. They want to say, Oh, we're, we're the victims. And these, these people are evil. Yeah. Um, no, that's not, that's not how this works, but they love using this because this is a good strategy. And now wars and anybody who commits war and all that stuff, which I'm kind of glad because I don't like war, but now anybody who does, um, who commits any violent action or anything like that, that's not how you're going to win, um, in this, in this day and age. But in the end times, I believe, I believe we're starting to go into the end times and the biggest evil of all will start to claim they're the victims to persuade to pers persuade the the public to cr attack Christians. I do I do believe that. I think they're going to use victimization to start persecuting Christians and it's not going to be the way that we think. Because remember, <clears throat> Jesus said you're not going to be a martyr. You're not going it's not going to be a hero's journey. You're not going to be um People are not going to hail you as a hero. They're going to hate you. They're going to say you're the worst person ever. And why is that? How are they going to say that you're the worst person ever, even though you believe in forgiveness, you believe in love, and all of this stuff? Well, this happens because we don't have a belief system that uses violence. So they can't pin it on us. They can't use that. But instead, we argue against sin. And those who embrace sin have trouble rationalizing it in their own mind, right? Because we all have a conscience. So we say there's sin and you should not, you should not indulge in sin. But those who want to, those who have decided they want to do that with their life, they, they're, they're, they're like, no, I want to do it. And then what happens is we get them... All of those people who are embracing sin get angry at us because we're not, we're not embracing their sin. They, they need, conf 
um, constant admiration. and They need constant support because they, in their hearts, God has created that conscience. They, in their hearts, feel that it's, they feel that it's wrong. They know that it's wrong. Sin is wrong. But they want people to validate and say, no, 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 it's okay. We, we embrace you. We tolerate you. We'll even celebrate um, your sin. We'll celebrate your choices. And that's what it becomes. It becomes about choice. And that's one thing that they will um, they will embrace about America is, you know, this is my choice. And it's like, fine. God said, you have your own choice. That's why we have free will. We're not robots. He wanted us to love him because he's great, because he's true. We all have the, the capacity to believe and do what we want. But... If you're looking for people to embrace what you want or push it on others, then that's the line, right? Especially when they go after children. And they want to bring up this generation. They want this generation to follow in their footsteps so that it's so normalized in society that they no longer have to argue with their conscience. Hey, everybody else is doing it, but that's still not going to be enough. And mark my words, one day they're going to start demanding people do what they do. Anyways, this Georgia Guidestone thing, um, am I happy they're down? I, I guess. It's never been really a problem, but it has been a signal towards globalism. But I will say, all of these things are, there's a lot of things that are coming up to make people hate Christians. You know, mo their monuments are being destroyed now. Um, Congress is starting to uh, realize that some of the things that were for the left are not viable, that, you know, it's bad law. Even even Ruth Bader Ginsburg said that uh, the uh, Roe v. Wade was bad law. And they were screaming, you know, on TikTok, they were talking about, you know, this is a tragedy and all this stuff, and it's 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 just not, you know, but anyways... I just had to speak about this because I find it interesting, and we've been talking about this for almost a decade now. All of these conspiracy theories that are that were going out, and do I believe in all of them? No. <clears throat> but do I believe that there is a bunch of globalists, a bunch of rich people who want to tear the ladder down so that people cannot be rich, you know, with them? Yeah, I, I believe that they want to control most of the population. And those who don't um, follow them and and support them or worship them, they're going to destroy them. How? I don't know how. Um, when it comes to the jab and all of this stuff, I don't think that um, I don't think what's in it is the problem. But I do think that forcing or compelling somebody to take something is a little bit hypocritical when they're claiming that nobody should touch their bodies, right? But anyways, I'm done for tonight. I'll talk to y'all later. God bless.